Hi guys, this is Im Tariq from RedScore.com. In the previous video, I showed you the application structure of our Play Framework. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the routes and how to pass data from route to controller and from controller to our view. So let's get start. Route file exists in configuration folder and this is the route file that we are going to use. First, let's uh, run our application spt space Our application is started. It is going to compile our application and uh, uh, after compiling uh, the SBT tool is going to place all compiled classes into this target folder so let's uh, go to our application localhost colon 9000 let's uh, visit some random urls let's uh, go to home as you guys can see that action not found let's go to somewhere else about page again action not found so what this action is here you can see that these are four entry points for our application either we can type this or this or this right so let's uh, type count so here it is again what if we want to create this url home or you know the about page for our application then all you have to do is you have to define this route you have to define this route in your route file so we are making get request to slash about so we need to define this route so that uh, user can access our application with this route so this is the entry point for our application that we need to define get slash about right and now we just define the route for our application but uh, what we want to do when user type this route okay we will transfer user to our home controller and we will execute index method when user will hit this url let's try it again so as you guys can see that we are able to use this route so now let's change our home controller let's define another method let's call it about for now you don't have to worry about uh, this uh, result method and uh, what I'm going to do in the controller you just have to worry about uh, routes file for now we will explain all of these when we will move towards controller so we are going to display some simple string on our browser so what we can do we can return status of ok which will send http 200 response to browser so we are going to say for example about let's refresh it again nothing happens because when user goes to this url we are executing index method so we want to execute about method so as you guys can see that we are able to get this string from our controller so what if we want to pass some information from the url to our controller let's say for example let's change it to welcome and let's change it to welcome as well of course welcome method doesn't exist so let's uh, re rename it to welcome welcome right let's visit this so what if we want to pass the name from the url to our page it's very very simple you have to define variable here let's write here azim 
and in controller let's write the we are getting a theme for but for example if i write something else it doesn't work so what we have to do is we have to make it a variable so to create a variable you can just do this type colon and specify the name of the variable which is name and then we need to pass this variable to our method just like this name colon and then you need to specify the type of that name which is string perfect now we need to accept this parameter in our method string name and let's display this name name let's visit this url and it does work let's change it to a theme it it works as well so what if you want to create another variable you can also do that let's say we want another variable which is last name last name colon and the data type of this name and we need to get it from here string last last name and let's uh, display something like this hi name space again last name welcome to our website perfect let's visit again of course this is not going to work because now we have to specify two variables so let's write uh, azim tariq so this is how you can work with routes I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. In the next video, I will show you how you guys can pass this data to the view.